Hey everyone, we're here with the much anticipated video of the van tour, so come along with us as we show you everything we've done to it. Alright, so it's a 2019 Volkswagen multivan, short wheelbase with some wheel check conversions done to it, which we'll show you now. So I've just got a key fob here, when I press it, it'll open the door, and then I've got a ramp that comes out the side door. Just like that. So in there, I've actually got the whole floor lowered so that I don't hit my head when I'm in there. Um, and it also makes the ramp less steep. The car is also on airbag suspension, which helps make the car a bit more level um, for when I'm transferring in and out of the driver's seat and for when I'm going up and down the ramp. We've got this box made here. It's on a big swinging mount, so obviously we can still open the tailgate. Um, and it houses my Baytech, so that's a really great way for me to get around campsites and uneven ground. So the first thing back here that we have is one of our massive sliding drawers. Uh, this one goes underneath the bed and slides out using two massive rails. Unclip it and you just slide it out. Lots of storage in there. And this sliding drawer here is our kitchen. Um, so what we have here is we have a 30 litre drawer fridge that slides out the front here. Um, stores heaps of food. Uh, we haven't had any issues with storing any food for our entire trip, so it's been really good. Um, and then we just pull this out using our handy towel rail, slide it all the way out. And we have two massive sliding drawers here. So this is where we keep all of our kitchen utensils and plates and knives and forks and cups and chopping boards and things like that, um, as well as some food storage as well. Up the top here, we also have a bit of extra storage up here. So you can see we're storing a blanket as well as some extra things. And we also have an extra sliding out part here, which allows us to store some extra items up the top, up here. So this is where we keep our gas stove as well as some of our gas cylinders and some curtains and other items that don't need refrigeration. We've also got this fabulous trestle table, which folds up and fits right into our van. Uh, AJ and I use this for our cooking, and we also use these lovely collapsible 20 litre water containers. Um, a lot of the campsites we go to don't actually have any drinking water, so we use all of these for any drinking water that we want to use, as well as any washing up that we want to do. <laughs> distance away from the roof which is cool um, I've got some really cool hand controls and a seat modification up here that I'll show you in a separate video We've got the bed set up here um, we are not sleeping on half a bed so don't worry um, so we've got this sliding out part that comes out so a bit of a chop here to stop it from sliding out if we're driving over some bumpy roads or it's fast speeds so I just slide that out um, and then I hold it all together and slide the whole thing out you can see it slides pretty much all the way out, pretty far, and then fold down the leg. And then we've also got an extra part. So before I fold that part out, usually what I would do is fold this massive part on, and this is actually where AJ will transfer onto. So we can fit the wheelchair in right here, but where I am, um, and AJ can transfer onto that. And then once he's on the bed also, what I can do is slide out an extra part here just to give us a little bit of extra space. And we've got an extra piece here for the mattress so that we're not sleeping on a plank of wood. That just slides in under there. Must have been. And it all folds away quite easily too. Alright, so in terms of mattress, we chose a 10 centimeter thick memory foam mattress from IKEA. Uh, it's got a bit of an eggshell here which helps with pressure. So far it's been great, haven't had any issues with skin. Uh, now I'll quickly run you through the 12 volt system we got here. Very basic, so we got a 100 amp hour battery in this battery box, which we've got hooked up to a DC to DC charger, which runs under the car to the main battery. Uh, then we've also got a 12 volt control box here, which has 
a voltmeter, a few cigarette lighters, and some USB and USB-C ports. Um, it also has an Anderson plug out the back there, which runs to our fridge. Um, and that's pretty much all the power we need. So far, I've had the fridge running for about 48 hours without running the car, and it's got heaps of battery left, so perfect solution for us. So in terms of curtains, we have actually made the curtains in the back of the van. So you can see here, there's one of them that is currently tied up. So when we're driving around during the day, we can still see out the windows. And then there's one that's fully extended here. Um, and you can see it blocks out pretty much all of the light. Um, for the front windows, we actually took one of the um, reflective sunshades and we cut it up into shape of both of the side doors. Um, so there's one on each of the passenger and driver side door. Uh, and for the, as in, for the front of the van, we have one of the reflective shades that cuts out a lot of heat, but also helps to keep the light out during the night. All right, so we do also have a tent that we can put up around the tailgate, which gives us a bit more privacy if we need, uh, or if there's rain or wind or anything like that. Basically, it just clips on um, and goes all the way around, which is really cool. All right, that was the wheelchair accessible van tour. If there's anything else that anyone wants to see, please let us know. Um, until then, Thanks. see you next time. Thanks for watching along. Thank you.